Ärmen här på Stadsmuseet och vårt nattenrum som vi kallar det här rummet på natten. Okay, people, let's going. Let's going. Let's get going. Let's get cultured. Let nothing to it. Vogue, vogue. No, culture, culture. Oh. You know, if I hadn't said I would do it, I wouldn't do it. But now I said I will do it, so I will do it. But oh, it would have been so nice just not to. And you might ask, why does he do it if he don't want to do it? But it's not like, it's not like I don't want to do it. It's just like I don't want to do it. There's a difference, right? The first one is I will absolutely not want to, I don't want, actively don't want it. But it's like, I just actively don't want it. Do you get it? There is a difference. The first one is, you know, not wanting to do it. The other one is wanting to do it. And I don't want it. Anyway, if I just did the things I wanted to do, I probably would stay home a lot more often. Or just sort of lounge on the sofa reading. But uh, once you get to stuff, once you just go there, you know, something happens. One of the things I absolutely love about living in Sweden in the spring and in the summer is the sun's refusal to set. I've been to warmer climes, more south, like, I guess, sort of Africa. And then it's just sort of that one moment it's light and then it's dark. Here, in the summer, the sunset goes on for hours. It still hasn't set. And in the middle of the summer, it doesn't. Oh, and I think I'd better make this clear. I've never been to Africa, but I've been to Tenerife, and I think, what is it? Well, one of the islands off the coast of Africa. I've been to one of those islands, and it was just sort of like one minute, bright and light, and the next minute, it's like someone extinguished a lamp. Total darkness. No, prefer it this way. We are going to Stadsmuseet, the city of Stockholm, the museum, the museum of the city of Stockholm. Uh, I haven't been there for years, I've been outside, but it's been closed, or was closed. I mean, it opened about a year ago, I think. But Magnus and I had a spell when we were sort of trying to, to visit all the museums in Stockholm, and we man managed quite a few. But this one closed, as so, so we started with this game, so we can visit it. But now, I will. Oh, what if I need a ticket? We are now at Slussen. That's a sort of a dock. No, uh, oh God, I can't remember the English word for it. It's, it's a lock, the lock. It's a lock between the island of Söder and the island of the old town. And this is the city's museum. Here we are, some of you might remember Magnus and I, or I on my own, was here two years in a row during the Noble Week lights. We used to sort of project things onto the walls here. Are they closing down? What's happening? Are they serving stuff? What's happening? Yes, I'm all for culture now. So look at that, and now the reality. Quite close, right? So here's the entrance. Okay, the whole museum seems to be open. I just thought there were some some specific things happening, but no. Mm. And now I found a room with where they exhibit old signs. Look at this. Oh, 
what I'm going to do. Starting now, there's music out on the, on the, in the garden, I guess, on the square. And after that, there's Forbidden Night. I don't know what that is. I'm supposed to ask where Nathan Rumi, the night room is. So I'm trying not to look at any of the permanent exhibitions or temporary exhibitions, but of course, I think Manus and I should go here, look at it together. So, I'm just skimming everything. The concert out in the, I don't know what you would call this, the square, or what? Anyway, this should have started five minutes ago, but they're still trying the sound effect, so I'm going to go in and check out the gift shop. For a gift shop, there's a lot of books here, which is good, and also, look at this. Hmm. This is kind of nice, you've got cutting boards with city maps on them, or different islands, it's the old time. It's a great idea. I think I might have to skip this if I want to see the, the other exhibition. They're a quarter of an hour late. Stadsmuseet och vårt eh, nattenrum som vi kallar det här rummet eh, på natten är eh, servering. Eh, så att den eh, har man då. Stora stora filmstjärna nummer ett på under mellankrigstiden, alltså Gösta Ekman den äldre. Här har vi honom. Eh, det sägs att ja, det här var det här drog, drogberoendet som låg bakom att han kunde. Han eh, hade 18 filmpremiärer. That was a... Good but brief tour is terribly charming, the guide. Now I am looking for a room where they're playing a movie. Oh, the first gay movie. The first Swedish gay movie, I think. That was kind of good. Vague, but kind of good. Now I'm going home. I'm definitely doing this next year, just choosing one spot. So what I didn't get is that every museum or the houses, that, the places that are part of this also have other things going on. So I thought it were just the things they sort of... Well, they sort of, they, they, the, the things they told us about, but then there's sort of the usual stuff as well, or oh, more, no. so, yeah, next year. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.